Last week, we looked at water, how it plays a major role in sustaining life on our planet. This time, we'll be looking at how it interacts with other systems on Earth and works with these systems to influence our land and weather. But what is a system? A system is a collection of parts or processes that are dependent on each other and work together. Earth has four major systems, the first of which is the hydrosphere, made up of all water and ice on Earth. From our oceans, rivers, and lakes, all solid, liquid, and gaseous forms of water are included. While all water is part of the hydrosphere, it can also be part of other systems. Since our atmosphere includes water vapor, this water is part of both the atmosphere and hydrosphere. We'll talk a little bit more about the atmosphere a little later. Our second main system is the geosphere, sometimes called the lithosphere. This contains all the land on Earth, from the mountains, rocks, canyons, plains, and even the ocean floor making up the planet's surface, to the semi-solid interior of the mantle, and to the metal core of our Earth. Our entire planet essentially is part of the geosphere, minus the water and air. Our third main system is our biosphere, which contains all living things on our planet Earth. From me and you, it also includes all the plants, animals, bacteria, fungi, basically all the life forms on Earth. Our biosphere can be divided into ecological communities or major life zones known as biomes. These are grouped according to the physical characteristics of the environment. These biomes include our desert biome with our cactus, our sand, and our lovely snake over there, our tropical rainforest complete with tropical plants and animals, savanna biomes, freshwater biomes, marine biomes, there are so many out there. Our last main system is our atmosphere, which contains all the air on Earth. It extends up about 6,200 miles surrounding our entire planet. Our atmosphere is amazing in the way that it keeps us warm, contains all the oxygen we need to breathe, and contains all the carbon dioxide plants need. It even gives us protection from the sun's invisible ultraviolet radiation, which would have hurt us badly if the atmosphere weren't here. Our weather partly depends on the air temperature of the lower atmosphere. By heating or cooling the air here, it can move around our planet as something small like a breeze or something huge like a tornado. You may be wondering, how are these systems connected with each other? For instance, our bunny, which is part of the biosphere, will burrow in the soil, part of the geosphere, linking the two systems together. Another example is in water vapor, which is part of the hydrosphere, but it's also present in our sky, the atmosphere, again, linking two systems together. This leads us to our second question. How do changes in one system affect the others? Or how do these systems interact with each other? Let's begin by reviewing water in an interaction between our hydrosphere and atmosphere. When water evaporates from our ocean, it enters the atmosphere, where it condenses around dust particles to form clouds, eventually falling back down as rain. This water can then fall back down and water our plants, thus marking an interaction between the hydrosphere and the biosphere. Rain can also interact with our geosphere through a process called erosion. This is where large rocks and structures are slowly broken down into smaller ones over a long period of time. A lot of rain can slowly erode the surface of the earth on a small scale. On a larger scale, Canyons are a great example of this. This river, through years and years and years, has worn away at the rock of Earth's surface to essentially carve a path, or canyon, in the surface of the Earth. This type of erosion marks an interaction between both the hydrosphere and the geosphere. Erosion can also occur from wind, or our atmosphere. It can remove soil from one area and deposit it in another, this is actually a big issue in dry areas, where dust and dirt can blow over homes, cover roads, and kill crops by smothering them. It can also worsen air pollution. 
All interactions between systems can be represented by this diagram. There are interactions between the systems like we just discussed, but also certain events can occur as a result of a change in a system or can cause a change in the systems themselves, hence the double arrow. An example of an event is a volcanic eruption. It can cause big effects and changes on all of Earth's systems. When a volcano erupts, it releases a lot of ash and dust particles into the air, marking an interaction between the geosphere and the atmosphere. Water, part of the hydrosphere, condenses around these dust particles to form clouds. This falls back down to the Earth as precipitation, helping to support animals and help plant growth. This marks an interaction between the hydrosphere and the biosphere. These plants in the biosphere then go on to release oxygen into the atmosphere, and humans breathe in that oxygen and, well, it could keep going all these interactions. Another example of interactions between systems is between mountains, our geosphere, and our atmosphere. Why is the weather worse on a high mountain? Let's say we have a body of water at the base. When water evaporates into the air here, it is transported by winds up the side of the mountain. As it go up, it cools in the atmosphere, and a lot of the moisture condenses into clouds. Later on, this rain will fall on this side of the mountain. As the air continues down the other side of the mountain, it'll warm up and dry out into dry air. The higher you go up into the atmosphere, the colder it tends to get, hence why the air cools very quickly at the top of a mountain. All of Earth's systems are connected and work together in so many ways. From our geosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere working together to support life in our biosphere, to our hydrosphere interacting with our geosphere and atmosphere to shape our climate, everything works together. Everything on our planet Earth has been shaped by these multiple interactions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you again next time.